Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem Three Houses. Last time we left off, we did Mary Ann's par paralogue, and Shamir wants to talk to us this time. So let's hear it. Thanks for your help out there. Battles tend to go smoother with you around. Uh, so it goes, you smoother? How so? I can count on you doing most of the heavy lifting. It may be unwise to think this way on the battlefield, but I feel I can trust your commands without question. I, I still make a, a little mistakes here and there. But judging by the results of our recent battles, you're clearly good at this. I've also noticed that you've been putting me in more precarious situations lately. Almost okay. like you know I won't question your orders. I apologize for that. I know that you, I can rely on you. Well, I can rely on you too, so. Huh. I'm glad you trust me to get the job done, but still. I knew you were doing it on purpose. You're in a very important position now that you're leading the charge against the Empire. Funny to think you used to just teach at the Officers Academy. Your old students still call you Professor. That's no title for the commander of an army. True, but it's endearing. I should like it. You'll always be their Professor, huh? Yep. You sure are an interesting one. My people lost the war, and I was left to wander Fodlan alone. But I guess meeting you was my prize. You look confused. Did you not know any of this? I was living in my homeland of Dagda up until the Imperial Army destroyed it ten years ago. But being okay. a mercenary, I have no real allegiance. That's why I'm working here now. Don't worry, though. I don't plan to turn on you. I hope not. <laughs> Shamir understands this a little more, and we understand Shamir a little more. Okay. Ignatz wants to talk to us. Okay. How incredible! What a striking color. Ah, Professor, look at this stone. Okay. It's What's up? Brilliant blue. You don't normally find stones like this around here. I ought to grind it down. I wonder if it would still be the same color. Why would you grind it down, though? Paint? Make pigment for my art. Good supplies don't come cheap. I prefer to make my own. Blue is especially expensive. How fortunate that I chanced upon this remarkable blueness. Oh, I'm sorry. There I go again, blathering on and on about painting. It's fine. Oh yes, but I know that I can get rather caught up in it and uh, enthusiastic. You know, Professor, That's not a bad thing. No matter how impassioned I become about my art, you never hold it against me. One could argue that I'm better off preparing for our next battle. I am becoming a knight. Uh, you're ever become an artist, or you become a, you should become an artist. Oh, Professor, look, please don't say things like that. You should. I gave up on my artistic dreams long ago. To support my family, I will be a knight. That's that. That's that. That's uh, you regret that choice. You'll regret that choice. You know what? I'm gonna be firm with you. A little bit more firm than I usually am. No, I won't. I'm doing the right thing. I'll continue with my art as a hobby. I don't think I could ever give it up. When I see something beautiful, I can't suppress the urge to paint it. I don't have a choice. And if my art can bring happiness to even one person, that's good enough for me. As long as you're sure about it. Professor, I have a favor to ask. I'm sure. painting a portrait right now. When it's finished, I'd like to give the piece to you. Would you take it? Perhaps it can bring you a little happiness. That will have made the effort well worth it. Okay, sure. Oh, Why not? Excellent. Is that a promise? Because I'm really going to put my heart in it. Uh, that is... I'm going to enjoy partaking in this casual hobby of mine. Ignatz, just do what the hell you want to do. Okay, no cutscene. We're going to just go right into the battle? Like City is first thing. Okay, here you go. Take flowers. Uh, 
uh, yeah, I guess we're just jumping into it. Uh, can't upgrade. No one can be upgraded. Sylvain kind of can be, except... Oh, it's... Oh, the chance rate for him is like 90, 90%. Holy crap. Uh, you lose magic, but gain resistance. And you lose de uh, defense. Well, we'll put you in that eventually, if I can help it. You're fine. You're fine. You've been fine. Marianne, I want... To transmog you. Let's go with our Grimry. It has like a 90% chance rate. We have nine of the seals. Please don't fail the 10%. Thank you. And you look really good at blue, actually. It's a nice shade of blue. We have a random stat boost to I passed. Defense. What? Uh, Flame, you can change. I don't want you to change. Everyone else is just eh. Well, first things first. Our level, our suggested level, is level twenty-nine. And this, uh, the Arendelle area should look very familiar to us for those who've seen the paralogs and watched the Let's Play consistently. Oh boy, this is gonna look real familiar to you guys. Rodrigue has agreed to provide soldiers. In order to meet up with their reinforcements, the Kingdom Army sets out for Ailel, the Valley of Tor. Airedale, sorry. So we're joining up with Rodrigue. Let's see what we got. Of course, we get a little more cutscenes too. This valley isn't a place I'd care to return to. After the chilliness of Fargus, I can't seem to adjust to this extreme heat. Historically, there have been battles whose outcomes were determined in part by the climate. You can't argue that this heat isn't a factor. Yeah, I'd imagine so. In conditions like these, who knows what will become of our morale? Professor, be honest. How are you holding? I'm on my limit. I never imagined this place would be like this. Monks once used this area as an ascetic training ground because of the intense environment. They say Ailel was born of the goddess's rage. Her rage? I haven't heard of that. Her rage? If you believe the legends, this valley is evidence of the goddess's judgment passed on humanity for its corruption. The forest that once covered the surrounding area was burnt to ash by a pillar of light that descended from the heavens. That okay. That fueled belief in a place of torment between our world and the next, where one's sins are purified in the cleansing flames. Nonsense. Sins are not so easily washed away. Indeed. And there are no accounts of such a place in scripture. Yet those who cannot face their own sins have no choice but to cling to the idea. That's true. Uh, I just don't think I can take this heat anymore. I think I'm starting to see things. Near those mountains over there. Is it just me? Or is there a group of people gathered there? It's possible. No. It would seem you are not hallucinating after all. Are those Rod Reeves soldiers? No. But their banner is that of... <gasps> no. Can't be. What is it? Rose Banner. They curried favor with that witch and sold out Vargas. We messed up. There must have been a spy among us. Will you have us meet them in battle or wait for Rodrigue to arrive? He's in battle. Option. How kind of them to save us the trouble of killing them later. Uh. They sold out from the kingdom, right? I will not repeat myself. That banner belongs to the Grey Lion. It's a waste of breath to exchange words with one such as him. His Highness is correct. He is not an opponent whom we can expect to negotiate with. Okay. Everyone, prepare for the attack. I'll be well. 
Also, where the hell is Annette? We didn't kill her off, right? I am grateful. Thank you. I thank you. Jumping on the loading screen. Wasting your time. Wasting my time. Uh, no. I was like, I really hope I didn't kill her off. Oh, jeez. Alright, first of all, Ash the Flyer. Sylvain, you need anyone? Nope. Felix, you don't need anyone. You don't need anyone. Oh, crap, right, we're supposed to have a support break before entering this battle, and we did not. Okay, well, we'll have a support break later. Marianne, oh, frick. Uh, Hanneman. Flane, you don't need anyone. Well, I guess we're just gonna, yeah, go for the obvious. Where is Hanneman? There it is. Hanneman, Ingrid, doesn't need anyone, because Flyer, you don't need anyone, Asher, Flyer, Dimitri, I, can we give you support with anyone? We'll try Happy, at the very least. Oh, we can, uh, yep, Happy, and then Annette, do you need anyone? Oh, you, you have your bane. Support with your dad. Do we need to readjust weapons at all? Repair. No, we're all looking pretty sturdy, minus Ash. By this point, I might as well just buy him a new weapon. Do I need to buy him a new weapon? Probably not. No, no one else uses axe in this uh, group, so yeah, I have to buy a new weapon. Ash, you will get a new silver axe. A brave axe and silver axe, here we go. As he is stocked up with items. Great, me. Okay, you're fine. Silver. We got that. We don't need that. We want the good silver. Steel. Oh, here we go. And everything else is gonna follow in proper procedures? Yeah, that's fine. Let's save, and then next chapter we're gonna start with a, uh, a support break. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, let's begin. Of torment. Perhaps a good place to finish off my life as a knight. Only if that puny force of children is able to kill me, of course. That man oh, he will. the lion's flag, Lord Gwendol. He is an elder knight who serves House Rome. Gwendol would, without thought, fight any battle aboard it. There is no chance of negotiating with him. Got it. Is a deadly place. So yeah, if this looks familiar to you, this is Ingrid's and Dorothea's paralogue. As it should. Got it. Thoron! With a crit! Everybody loves a Thoron. It was meant to be. <laughs> was that guy just like not riding his horse properly? He's just like, go. I'm gonna go this way now. Okay, well. All this being said and done, I'm gonna put a net here for dumb reasons. Put Dimitri up here. At your service. Mercedes, can you attack from anywhere? Not really, okay. 
bring you up here. We'll have Ingrid and Ash just kind of stay in the back for a bit. And then we'll have everyone else come up. Somewhat. Actually, this might be the best idea. I put them in such a dangerous spot, though. What's the plan? Uh, how far can you move? That should be fine. Move Sylvain up. Have a uh, flame come up and dance for Sylvain. Let's get the cutscene. So all the same cutscene, and then have Sylvain uh wreck some crap up. Oh, you couldn't hit me. Bye bye. See you next. See you next time. You knew the odds. You you knew many things. I'm just being dangerous. Ask. Oh, Annette being there probably isn't the best. Now I look at that. What do you? Really? Twenty nine percent shot that hit me. It has a super high critical chance, but I guess that's because it has a killer bow. Or was it the killer bow? What what bow was that? There you go, Sylvain. All for our future. All for your future because you got a crit. I sense an improvement. The strength's good. The defense is also good. HP is eh. Oh, sorry, Annette. I put you in such a bad position right there. Okay, you dodged it. I'm cool with that. That's gonna probably go through. Don't think so. It didn't. Okay, how? Oh, that's a 50 50 odd. Yep, and that actually went through. Jeez, that hurt a lot. Okay, well, Sylvain, you were running. Actually, does that. Is that bad territory or is that neutral? That's neutral territory. Okay, right, cool. Sylvain, you're gonna just go plop. Give him a little love tap. You know, love tap. Burn until we meet again. Uh, I won't run that. We'll bring the professor up and just smack this guy. Didn't have much of a chance, sadly. Level 41, and we got. A pretty good stack gains, all around. Only downside is it's just we didn't get uh, a lot of strength towards uh, we didn't get a strength upgrade, I believe. That's eh, fine, Felix. Thunder. All right, next. Felix got an A in our uh, reason, and that gave him nothing. I thought that should give him something. I guess not. Uh, Physic, yeah, we'll just heal up with Marianne. If we want Marianne's uh, skill to get up a little bit more. Thunder, Nosferatu, Fire, Blum, Ragnarok, Thunder. Eh, let's steal some health while we're at it. And now I don't have to worry about healing. Great. I don't expect forgiveness. Eh, you shouldn't seek forgiveness either. Oh, you know what? I just realized there's treasure chests on this map. I could totally have uh, Ash go up and steal stuff. I should have checked. Oh, he had a killer bow. That's why his um, his uh, critical chance was so high. Ooh, how many treasure chests are on this map? I should have done this beforehand. One. Is it just? It's two. Okay, that's fine. Who has the spare key? I don't remember. Well, Ash, there's no... Yeah, there's no, uh... Oh, brain, come on now. Uh... <laughs> archers, there we go. I, why am I having a hard time with archers, out of all things, to remember? And I guess we'll just kind of have Ingrid come up behind. Or are they going to both... Nope, that's fine. I want a little bit of experience going on here. 
Next up is let's move Flame or not Flame. We'll move Annette to heal Felix. Oh, and then we will move Flame to he or not to heal, but to give extra movement to. Yeah, let's give it to Sylvain because he could go up and kind of just wreck more stuff than we could ever imagine. Uh, I say that, and then I realize I made it dumb. Physic and heal. Thanks. That should be fine. Okay, we don't necessarily need to kills right now. We just gotta lure them out a little bit. Okay, Sylvain's gonna at least get it, uh, an A to his uh, lance or spear techniques. I was just stronger. That's great. And with that, he gets Swift Strike. I do not know what that skill is, and I don't want to know. Archers can't do anything. That's great. Uh, how weak are the archers? I thought they had somewhat. I guess I'm used to my archers, and my archers don't have a lot of strength. And the highest crit chance we've seen, and uh, Ash cannot get the crit. Well, I'm gonna leave them to their own devices for a bit here. Well, I'll have Dimitri come over here and eh, let's slaughter some folk. 30% for a crit. How strong is Dimitri at this point? Or is that Happy's influence? I think that's Happy's influence. Assist Dimitri. Also, Bolt Axe. That is, I believe, a magical weapon. It's a magical weapon, and Ash does actually some pretty decent damage with it. Yeah, let's actually do this. The Bolt Axe is basically also... It's pretty much like the Livid Sword, even though we've never made it. The Livid Sword is a Thunder Elemental uh, bladed weapon. So sword masters and stuff could use good it uh, use it, it use it decently, but once again, sword masters would also have to have a good magic stack that is based off magic and not anything else. Actually, can we kill this guy with the training bow? Of course we can. So let's just spare him some time and just set him on his way. So. You took me lightly. Uh, what's the prediction gonna be like? Yeah, that works a lot better for my favor. Next up is let's move a net up. I do want a net to do something slightly less orthodox for all this, and then we'll move Violet right about here, and then we'll move Flane. Up to a net, yeah. Actually, we could have flame. Okay, yeah, let's do this. Child's play. That was child's play for you. Concoction. Whatever lightens the blow effectively. Burn until we meet again. And then we'll move Sylvain in there, just so you get some heal. Heals. Uh, Marianne, you could do a whole lot of assisting. I owe you one. So we got defense and a heal if uh, Sylvain ever gets hit. Wow, I'm surprised that uh, Ingrid, Ingrid could actually take on a guy by, by herself. 
Oh, I also forgot to equip the uh, the bolt hammer, didn't I? Or bolt axe. I should do that. Cause that's not gonna stay on um, Ash. That's gonna probably that's probably gonna go right into the uh, the, uh, the caravan convoy. There we go. I couldn't think of the word for that. Okay, you're going after Dimitri. Dimitri has a 30% shot of critting. Come on. Happy got a level up. Happy also got, I think, A in her reason? Yeah, now they're getting a little panicked. Now they're starting to go like, okay, we gotta start doing a little bit of things here and there. I believe the commander is a great knight, is he not? I am going to double check that. He should be a great knight. Yep, great knight. Cool. So he's one of the master classes. I think like every every boss character at this point has been a master class. In the uh, at least in the adult arc, because like that's kind of where a lot of the the pain of this game kind of uh, shows itself. I'm probably not gonna get the second chest, but that's fine. Ooh, can Ingrid just come up and straight up? Yep, let's do it. You can do a whole lot more though. My duty is your death. We might kill him before. Before we get Ash to that treasure chest, and to that I say it's fine. We're not using the bolt axe, and we'll use the railer axe for this. 25% shot to crit. Freaking, why are you so lucky, Ash? You should not be this lucky. His luck stat isn't that high, right? 24. Eh, speed and dexterity, that's not bad. You can dodge a lot more. Okay, Dimitri, you're gonna come up and you're gonna use the training bow. Sure. That's sad when a heavy uh, soldier gets taken down by a bloody bow. A training bow, no less. Uh, you're there. We'll have a net come up. I'm playing with a lot of fire right now. Felix, you'll come up and then we'll. Dance for Felix. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. That's fine. First, you have to play defender. It had to be done. Okay, that's still normal train. Yep, cool. So, Sylvain, if you'll be so kind. Um, unless Ash can move there instantaneously, we're gonna probably finish it off next turn anyways. All for our future. Prosperous! Progress! I words. Marianne, you'll assist with physic. You're a big help. Marianne's 37, and she got strength, magic, de dexterity, speed, and luck. I forget if that's good for a Gremory, because, like, they should really be focusing on magic, shouldn't they? Okay, Ash, time for you to shine! Barely under. Barely under the thing we need. Ugh! That's fine. I guess I'll try to kill, uh, not kill off Ro, then. I must steal myself. Got to like tease him a little bit. Unless he goes after Ash, then he might just straight die. Ingrid, can you? Yes, you can. I'm trying to get people the experience that they need. It is done. Onward. Yeah, sure. Come over this way. I'm a flyer. I won't get hurt. Okay. First of all, as I said, we're gonna have to like slightly tease him a bit here. 
want to know what's actually over there. Dance. Come on. Oh, don't go after him. You're going to die. He's going to kill you. Or maybe not. I was going to say, as long as he doesn't get a crit. Okay. Please just hang on just for a couple seconds longer. I need to get stuff. Okay, 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 okay. Hi, Rodrigue, you so took your sweet time. Spies, even inside Garrett Mark. The shield of Argus has appeared. We can expect more out of him than the young ones. Yeah, we won't let Rodrigue die, because we're also... We also have him by, like, the crotch right now. A silver shield, that was not worth it. Uh, in any case, we will heal Ash with everyone. Thanks so much. Sylvain, you'll just move up. Annette, you're gonna do much the same. Felix, you're gonna move up. Gonna just make a nice thick wall between uh, Annette and then everyone else. That's good to meet you the experience, sure. That works. There you go. You're, you're dying on a lava field. <laughs> At least he was polite about his death. It is the way of I guess the MVP is going to be Ash because he got the most actions in. Lord Gwendol was a good man. Now he is just a corpse, nothing more. Let's go. Rodriguez is waiting for us. Uh, on the other end of the map. We also have one guy still alive. Shouldn't we, you know, kill him off? Oh, so Vayne was the MVP. -er. I mean, I guess I kind of threw him everywhere. It was like, here, just find a way to work. Jesus. Phone, why are you a thing? It's been too long, Your Highness. But try to temper your joy, will you? This is a war, after all. To say such a thing at a time like this... You have not changed one bit. Don't let looks deceive you. I've had a rough go of it ever since I crossed blades with those traitors in Ferdia. When I heard you'd been executed, I rushed there as fast as I could, blind with fury. When I got there, I was fed some garbage about not being able to see your body. The next thing I knew, I was gripping my blade and... Slash people down. Gilbert, you have done well to locate his highness. I am truly grateful. And you... I have you to thank as well. As professor is my duty, and we're all fortunate. We're all fortunate to at least be alive. Well, we are in your debt. I will repay you for this someday, I swear it. And you, Felix. You have also done well to bring his highness here. <laughs> tell us all you know, Rodrigue. I'm afraid there's not much to tell. You are aware that the western region of the kingdom was taken by the Empire, correct? Yes, so I have heard. They are now calling it the Fargus Dukedom, or some nonsense. If you know that much, then the rest won't take long. Okay, tell us. Not, it's undeniable that Cornelia's plan was nothing short of genius. After seizing power, 
She invited the Imperial Army to Ferdiat. There she reorganized her troops and then sent soldiers to hunt me down. Because Makes of that, sense. we were forced to act defensively. And now we're being forced into a difficult battle. She's been controlling the situation all along. So that's been the witch's plan from the start. I should have killed her ages ago. Your Highness, hey, shut up. is in a terrible state right now. The tyranny is unbearable, and so the rebellions are endless. Refugees starve to death in the streets. If I may speak freely, Your Highness, we should change course for Ferdiad and take down those traitors before we embark to Enbar. That sounds like a smart idea. We must annihilate Enbar before all else. Think this through. I understand wanting to destroy the Empire and the Emperor. I want that so much it hurts. But which is more important, the dead or the living? Both pretty important, in all honesty. Silence. No, Dimitri. You will hear me out. Are you asking me, asking the dead, to forgive that woman? Not forgive, no. just lay no, off for a second. You. What I am asking is that you allow us to prioritize the kingdom capital over the imperial capital for now. As Lambert's close and trusted friend, I am confident that he would have advised the same. Do not dare to put words in the mouths of the dead. They are your words alone, even if you borrow their lips. Until I offer up that woman's head, father will remain a slave to his lingering regret and hatred. Even now, he suffers. It is ceaseless. As we waste time with idle chatter, his suffering continues. Not fully. You are my king. Our king. Wherever you lead, we will follow. But your highness, there are those who take up their sword in the name of revenge, and yet along the way, lose the strength and composure to follow through. You would do well to bear that in mind. You better. Ah, I nearly forgot. Take this, your highness. The time has come for it to be wielded by its true master. Get airfall. The hero's relic once wielded by my father. The very same. I managed to steal it back from one of Cornelia's underlings in Ferdiat. Understated as ever, father. It must have been a true struggle to get it back. I... I am grateful, my friend. Gilbert, professor, may I request something of you? Sure. I wish to fight at your side. Oh, hell yeah! Senile already, old man? Who will protect our territory? I expected it would come to this, so I left those matters to my younger brother. He has my complete faith. I must keep my promise to our fallen king, to my dear friend. What promise? A very old one. I swore it nearly ten years ago. Now then, your highness, let's destroy the empire together. My men and I will spare no effort. I pray that you are right, and that this will save the kingdom. Okay, Rodrigue. Got an airfall. Our orders are to capture Enbar by striking the enemy stronghold directly. How familiar are you with the geography of Fodlin? Uh, fairly, actually. Then you must be aware that the kingdom and the empire are separated by the impassable Ogma Mountains, right? Legend has it that Saint Seros once crossed over those mountains to fight against the fell king Nemesis. But don't fool yourself. Leading a large army over such steep mountains would be near impossible. In order to infiltrate the Empire, we have no choice but to go around the mountains, either to the east or to the west. Let's go... west. Hmm. I believe that may be difficult. After all, the western region of the kingdom is already loyal to the Empire. True. Perhaps we should consider going east, using the route that passes through Alliance territory. The Alliance is currently split in two. Those who stand with the Empire and those who are against it. Leading the Imperial faction is House Gloucester, while House Regan leads those who oppose. We should take advantage of their internal conflict and proceed east along the mountains until we reach the Great Bridge of Murden in Alliance territory. True, we should. 
I don't know why I keep saying. I think I keep saying West every single time. However, the Great Bridge of Murden is by far the largest, and it is also closest to the monastery. I believe you crossed that bridge five years ago on your journey to the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. Well, I remember that well. well I, yeah, why don't they both attack us? But it's still more practical than passing through the West. Perhaps our next move should be to contact House Regan and request their cooperation. Do you want to help us? Claude of House Regan is the leader of the Alliance and is firmly against the Empire. They are the enemy of our enemy. In other words, hopefully, a friend. Are you suggesting that we ask House Regan to engage the Gloucester soldiers? I am. If we take the bridge, then House Gloucester will no longer be able to receive support from the Empire. There's no way a man as wise as Claude would refuse our request. And once we manage to capture the Great Bridge and gain a foothold into the Empire, then we cross Grondor Field and head south toward Enbar. But True. if we get attacked from both sides, we'll have to fight people from the Alliance, won't we? Speaking of House Gloucester, I wonder how Lawrence is holding up. If we meet him again, it will probably be as enemies. To be honest, I'd rather avoid seeing him altogether. Same here. If you do not wish to kill familiar faces, do not tarry over the corpses of the dead. <laughs> Good advice. Phil's getting real mad, Dimitri. Holy hell. It is time to steal your souls for the task at hand. And with that, starting the next chapter, we'll have the support break pretty much immediately. After small cutscene. Part two. Azure moon. Low moon. moon. The rose-colored river. Rose -colored river. <laughs> is it gonna be a river? Or is it gonna be a complete lake? The kingdom army meets with Rodrig in Halel, the Valley of Torment. With the strength of House Froldarius on their side, the time to invade the Empire is final. Thank you for that really short little thing. Are we gonna get a free day right off the bat or we have to wait a bit? Shaking my controller. Had it on my lake, I gyrated a bit. Gyrating controller. Okay, we're starting for free day. Good. Or maybe we're not starting for free day. Even though it's in ruins, in some strange way, this monastery never truly changes, does it? I no, it doesn't. I the officer's academy when I was young. Those memories come rushing back whenever I return. What are you doing here at this hour, anyway? Uh, I just can't sleep. <laughs> it's the same for me. Perhaps you'll allow me to join you. Much appreciated. Oh, this is gonna be a super long episode. Sorry, guys. You okay, Rodrigue? I keep recalling my eldest son. He was quite gifted. In fact, he was appointed a knight at the age of 15. I still vividly remember the day he was granted a sword from his majesty. Your son, isn't he? Dead. He was killed nine years ago in Dusker. All that returned of him that day were his sword and his armor. After it happened, I said something horrible to Felix. He's hated me ever since, and I don't blame him. No matter how much you grieve, the dead will never return. No magic in the world can bring them back. That's why their memory clings to the living like a curse. That's true. The more they were loved, the tighter their hold suffering they cause I fear I am not a strong enough man to scold his highness for his foolishness I know how you feel in some way since this war began we've seen countless generals soldiers and citizens die it never gets easier <sighs> professor 
I entrust the young prince and the future of Fargus to you. I'll do what I can. I'll let you down. <laughs> you are a brave one, aren't you? One worthy of leading the Church of Seros, I dare say. You should know that I have no intention of insisting that you take back Ferdiat. All I ask is that you continue to rein in Dimitri's manic desire for revenge. Now then, we have received House Regan's consent. All that's left is for us to depart. If we make it through Gloucester territory and across the Great Bridge of Murden, we'll be in okay. Empire territory. You are not afraid, are. are you? Are you afraid? Are you not afraid? I'm, I'm a little afraid. Just a little bit. <laughs> no need to worry. Don't you underestimate the power of my soldiers. Don't plan to. I'm glad you were the one to lead the Blue Lion House, Professor. I mean that. I mean, that was the house that you were, you were in. Okay, that is the Saros Day, isn't it? Saint, uh, Keo. It, 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 can't pronounce words. The two characters that don't need it. This is a good chance for us to prove our solidarity. The utter discord. I cannot stand it. I do wish everyone would listen to one another. Oh, Hanneman got his uh, faith up a little bit. Perhaps I'll expand the scope of my reason. You should. This experience. And we got authority off of it. All right, cool. Free day. And also a paralogue? Uh, great lord, okay. And then we should get uh, changes right into that. A new power. I won't squander it. There you go, Dimitri. He's automatically changed into that, so that's a good thing. Uh, who's the paralogue? Oh, it's Rhea's paralogue. Uh, we got a little time before that expires, so we'll do what we did for Marianne. We'll have to do it by the 22nd, though. That's fine. But as I said, next time, we are going to have a massive support break for our characters. So, get ready for that. I'll see you guys in a bit.